All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're here with another part of this Red Dead Redemption walkthrough. So, in the last part, we finally... It, it dragged on quite a bit, and I very much apologize for that. But we finally got through um, Seth's mission for clearing out the graveyards, and Nigel West Dickens, um, he had us go grab some materials and uh, grab some weapon parts. We finally got this blunderbuss. I'm not really super excited for it. I mean, it looks cool, but... Just, there, not a lot of ammo for that and whatnot, so we'll see. Um, so, Nigel West Dickens, right when we left off, there was a notification that um, it might take a while for his next mission to spawn in. So, we're going to do some survivor missions in the meantime. I don't know how long it'll take, but we're going to start with dinner for two, and then head over to McFarland's Ranch for Paterno Pride. And we'll start with that. Let's dive right in. Let him go! Come on, boy! Hey! Well, try to! Sorry, boys. She didn't give me a whole lot of choice. I really didn't think Marshall Johnson Hello, still John. be alive for some reason. Welcome to paradise. Hello, Marshall. <laughs> Might have known you'd survive. What's going on? Do I look like I commune with the undead? I don't know. Well, then how would I know? My job is to take care of the folk who live here. Oh, you <laughs> heard that one. How's that going? How's that going? Well, let me put it to you this way. Cattle rustling and bank robbery are at an all-time low. But murder... Blood drinking and psychotic episodes seem to be somewhat prevalent. Either that, or I'm dreaming. That's what I'm hoping, too. How was it getting in here? It was crazy. Oh, they must be hiding again. They come in and then just disappear. Town's been nearly overrun a couple of times. Now we're low on ammunition, and I'm two men down. I'll help you clear the place out if you like. You're a good man, John Marston. But before that, I'm gonna need my deputies back. What happened to them two clowns you had before? Gone? Maybe. I sent Jonah off to look for Eli. They've both been gone for several hours now. Who'd want to eat one of them? <laughs> That's a good question. Where'd you send them? Out near the general store. Jonah's got one of these new guns. I'm sure he can't run into any trouble. These things, they'd stop an elephant. Thank you. No, thank you. I'm sure you got your own troubles. Look for Jonah and Eli in and around Armadillo. Well, I'm glad we got something out of this. Sawed-off shotgun, I'll take it. Something that's easier to aim, I'll take I it. What makes those thingies tick. M, what's M? Oh, that's Marshall Johnson. So it's Eli or Jonah in here. Hey, mister. Hey, Pard. You seen a couple of deputies nearby? Marshall's boys, Jonah and Eli. Uh, are they Jews, mister? They sound like Jews. I don't know, why? Why? <laughs> This whole thing is nothing but a Jewish plot. You do know that, don't you? I find that highly unlikely, amigo. Well, I don't like Jews. Or colored folk. Or natives, now that you mention it. Well, you're a nice, kind-hearted man. Doesn't like anybody. In time of trouble. Kind does not come into it. Why? What are you talking about? Why? I bet you like Catholics. I can't stand them neither, nor women. Fabians, socialists, homosexuals, Asians, or British. Okay, literally Between everybody. Them, they ruined this country. Ruined it. It was a good country once. Now people are eating each other, and it's all the fault of the Jewish, British, Catholic, homosexual elite and their ideas. Well, I, for one, won't stand for it. Have you ever met a Jewish person? <laughs> Thankfully not. Or a uh, British Catholic homosexual? Not in my store. 
Oh, I, I get it. I see you acting clever. Well, let me tell you this. The Jews killed Lincoln. That's why there is a triangle on the money. And they run Europe like one of them Arabian harems. Now they've sent this here plague to kill all us decent folk. Yeah, that's what you are, totally. Yep. You, sir, are truly a remarkable fella. Thank you kindly. I must say, it's a rare pleasure to meet someone with such a grasp on human history. You take care of yourself. I'd hate to see you get savaged by someone and watch the life force drain from your hate-filled body. <laughs> uh, oh, hey, God. hold on there. Why don't you join me in my fight, sir? It's not too late. A what is he trying is to do? For me. Then I will fight them alone. All of them. America is the land of the free. And that means free to people like me, Herbert Moon. He's going to get killed. Absolutely. No. Oh, no, no, no. That is about what I expected. Oh, undead without ammo belts will have undead parts. You can use the parts to make ammo for your blunt blunderbuss. No way. So you can use even the undead ribs and whatnot. Okay. That makes the blunderbuss a lot more useful. I just don't know how to make the ammo. How do I make the ammo? We're going to have to figure that part out. Make the ammo. Be somewhere back here. In the barn, maybe. No, nope, not in here, in this barn. I hear somebody. Oh no. I think that's both of them. Hello, boys. Marshall sent me, need some help. <clears throat> Guess yep. you got other plans. Dang. Seriously, I actually like them. Enjoy your meal, no problem. Easy now, gentlemen. Remember all the fun times we had? I knew I could shoot. Well, that I miss sucks. the old times, fellas. Since I can loot everybody just now, I can loot everybody. But I get zero shotgun ammo. What is that sound? That's kind of a weird sound, sorry. Just caught me off guard there. That eh, sound. I, I need to figure out how to make the blunderbuss ammo, though. Wait, can wait, hold up. Let me see here. What do I do with these? Uh, undead ribs. <laughs> um, maybe it's at a home base. I can't think of anything else that. Hello, John. Hello, Marshal. So, you find the boys? I found them. I understand. I hope it was fast for them. It was fast. And they died with their bellies full. Well, one of them did. Good. That there's Jonah's gun. Here, you keep it. After all, you earned it. Thank you. Take care of yourself, John. You too, Marshal. Okay, that's dinner of two done. Or dinner for two, sorry. I'm gonna see if I can find the way onto this rooftop here. So I can finally get this chest and that done for this settlement. Is there a ladder somewhere? Maybe just climb this. 
Put the gun away. There we go. Get this chest done. And we're going to check the home base real quick just to see I if I can figure out how to make uh, make the ammo. I don't get how to make the ammo for the blunderbuss, so... Let me... Let me... Don't walk in front of me, my guy. Jeez. I'm just wasting ammo at this point. I just really want to see how to make this. Uh, nope. That's snake oil. What is that? Refills dead eye. Nope. Oh, this. Not enough undead parts. Okay, I need. I need to farm more. Okay. That's all I needed to know. Figure out how to actually do it. So we're gonna head over to. I think we're gonna do. He's still not popped up. So we're gonna do McFarland's Ranch Paternal Pride next. I, if it's still not loaded up, I'll do the last one. I think it's. Uh, I forgot the name of it. I'm so bad with names. What is wrong with me? Filth and other entertainments. Let's go. If it's still not popped up by then, I'll do that one as well. It seems like it's probably going to try to make me do all those side missions. Um, so, we might end up doing it. But either way, we'll do our best. I hope Paternal Pride... Uh, it seems like all the survivor missions or side missions are about the people in the main campaign. So, Come this on. should be a Bonnie McFarlane mission. Or, uh, what's her name? Uh, what's, what's her father's name? I'm so bad. Yeah, either the, the McFarlane family. Yeah. So, we'll see what this one's about. Let's go. I hope Bonnie's not dead, though. I really hope. She's just the best. Right behind Abigail as just, like, a badass woman. People really underestimate how, I guess, come on, come on. difficult it is to just make Let's a likable character nowadays. Like, some of the... I mean, everybody's likable for their own reason. But it's like, nowadays, you just get these super bland characters. And now we're in just this game, a 2010 game. Pretty much everybody is likable for their own reason. Even even Seth, even yeah. Irish, he's likable in his own way. He's funny. He did help us get to Mexico, even though he was the reason we were getting shot at. But, like, everybody is good in their own way. But now you just get so many games nowadays where they're just so boring. They're so bland. Nobody's likable. There's a lot of punchable people, but there's nobody likable anymore. Okay. Let's start this. Paternal pride. Stop freaking doing this. Stop doing this. I love you, War. You're very fast. But I need you to stop doing that. We're going to hit you up. For, ma for that matter. Because I know we're going to Mexico after the next main mission. So... When we're down there, we can search for the other mythical horse, which should be First famine. Hell walks the earth and you turn up. Could my week get any worse? Oh, nice to see you too, Miss McFarland. Oh, I thought you'd be dead. I heard things were bad in West Elizabeth. Sure. <laughs> but it'll take more than an apocalypse to take me down. What are you? A demon or a cockroach? Both, I fear. How's your father? Fine and dandy. He should be coming out of that barn any moment now. Daddy! What's he doing in the barn? Daddy, John's here! Mr. Marston, you remember? That idiot bounty hunter. What was he doing in the barn? Just rounding up the undead and keeping them safe so the rest of us can go about our business. He's a real man. He's probably playing around with them. How long's he been in there? Not long. Only since yesterday. Yesterday? I better go have a look for him. Would you, John? You are kind. 
Call out to me if you find anything. I will do. I really hope he's not dead. He, these these guys are the OGs, the first ones we really encounter. Besides, I mean, technically Bill Williamson, but still, Drew, that's his name. Oh, I really hope he's not dead. This would suck. He's he's actually a good dude. Find a way into the barn. Are we gonna have to climb up again, the backside? Oh, this works. This is some crazy nonsense. They can't climb ladders, can they? Drew! You alright? I missed him. I'm not seeing Drew anywhere. Is he up further? No, he's not up here, so... Slide down here. Please don't be dead, please. Drew, are you in here? If they're wandering around, he has to be dead. Oh no. Dang it, Drew. Why'd you have to round up zombies? Sorry, Mr. McFarlane. You were a good man. Can I search your corpse now? I'm sorry, that's so rude, but... Sorry, sister. Dang, I'm so sorry about this. Can I not search you guys? It's weird, it's like your, uh... I guess this your icons are different locations than your bodies, which is really weird. I'm so sorry. I really don't like this. I like Mr. McFarlane. This is all in the good book. Good God. Gonna They're going to kill me. Did I save him? What gun did I get? It's like a Winchester repeater this time. I owe you my life, Mr. Truly. I hope you do the same for me. This is something I don't want to think about. So good, more ammo there and rifle ammo. I really feel bad. Drew is a good guy. Once again, back to my point, likable characters. Just helped me out. Same with Bonnie. If anything happened to her, you'd feel real bad. I'm sorry, Bonnie. Hate to see these super kind characters go. Well, John, you always do bring sunshine to my life. I'm sorry about your father. I'd like to say he died doing what he loved. But he never was one for eating folks. I mean, technically it looked like he's buried under hay, Slathering so... from the lips and howling at the moon. I guess I'll content myself with saying that he... Died protecting those he loved. He did his best. Well. Take care of yourself, Bonnie. You too, John. Oh, that's a sorry ending right there. Oh, man, that sucks. Sorry, hear my chair creaking. That's a sad ending. We've already lost, uh, John- wait, what's his name? Jonah and Eli, the deputies there, and Armadillo. Now we lost Drew McFarlane. 
Yeah, it seems like we got to do all Come the missions. On. So, we're going to take a trip down to Filth and Other Entertainments. Where is this at? Plain View. It's right at... Oh, we're going to have to clear the uh, fort at the same time. Missing Souls. I don't know what that is. I think it's probably a missing people escort them back to this place mission. There's no other side missions available, is there? Because we did um, the one in Tall Trees. What's it called? Uh, conservation Movement. So let's head back down to Plain View. I don't think we... Yeah, we haven't been there before, technically. So let's head to Plain View. Clear out the settlement and we'll do... Uh, we'll do this side mission. Hopefully, hopefully, yeah. he'll pop up pretty quick after that. We might separate it into the next part when we actually do um, the next Nigel S. Dickens mission. Because we're already 20 minutes in, and it'll take some time to get down there. Hey, mister! Help me! What do you need? Damn zombies got my brother! You gotta Bust. save him! Whoa, whoa! Who's next? Oh, I forgot I have the double barrel. Make sure you gotta follow his brother here. Dude, you're shooting me now. Get into this barn. You don't stop that, you ain't gonna live. Are you dead yet? I don't know what that freaking buzzing sound is. It's very annoying. Don't you come alive again now? Oh, there's an open door. Of course there is. Yeah. Hey, we're going to move away from these guys. I, I want to get away from that buzzing sound. I don't know what it's from, and it's getting on my nerves, though. We'll do these occasionally. Why not? Get more ammo from them. Yeah. Go. Yeah, we. I think we're going to end up separating this into another part. I hate to do it, but once again, limited time to film today. Um, Let's go. Limited time to film today, so I'm going to have to probably separate them out, but we'll get at least these side missions done. They're all interesting in their own way, but every one of Let's them, go. and sadly it seems... I don't know who this one's going to be about, filth and other entertainment, but all the ones so far have been sad. We lost Eli and Jonah, Andrew McFarlane, and Bonnie kind of blames us, I, I feel like. It's not our fault, but she kind of associates it with us. Because every time we show yeah. up, somebody gets... He's either getting hurt or is about to get hurt. <sighs> yeah. I hope it's not another person dead. Let's go. Honestly, every side mission so far has been sad. <laughs> we massacred some Sasquatches. Even though technically we have proof now in the last part that... <laughs> even though we have uh, Come on. proof from the last part that Sasquatches are still alive, so we didn't really have to kill the last yeah. one uh, in that part. Because now we have proof that he's not alone, but still, it's too late. <laughs> we already kind of killed, like, what, six of them? Just bad. I'm, I'm being a bad person in this Undead Nightmare playthrough. Come on. I'm doing my best to save everybody, but no, everybody wants to run right in front of my bullets. Come on. When we finally, like I said, when we finally get down to Mexico, I'm, I am gonna probably search. I mean, maybe we'll run into it on a mission. 
I am probably gonna search for uh, famine. Famine's the last one before death, which, from what I researched, um, you can you can get death either by finishing Undead Nightmare or by uh, catching and breaking the other horses. So so far we've gotten war and pestilence, both in the New Austin and uh, uh, Henniganstead or West Elizabeth. Sorry, I'm trying to think of the names. We've got both of those, so we have two left. One of them we need to be in Mexico for. The other one, I think death will spawn anywhere on the map. But it's also, you can just... Jeez, Louise. Help some more people out, why don't we? Anybody else? Are you actually alive, sir? Please, come on over. Um, I don't know if I want to. As you can see, I'm trying to find out what makes these thingamabobs tick. Sorry about the smell. I have extra fun if they're still kicking, if you can bring them back alive. Yeah. Uh, okay. No, nah, I'm not doing that. Yep, we're not doing that one. I'm not going to try to lasso them. That takes too much time. We can go ahead and do this side mission. It's hard to pass up uh, this war horse, though. This horseman. Just look at that freaking thing. I want to see what uh, Famine's going to look like. Because Pestilin was kind of iffy. I know it's, like, really, really hard to kill. Joking. Joking. I don't like how, uh... I don't like how, how much foliage there is here. It makes it difficult to see. So we're gonna get on the horse here. Let's go! We go. We're gonna go ahead and loot first, and then we'll start the mission. Slim if we can get blunderbuss day. ammo, we might as well get as much as we can, and we'll pick up the ammo boxes itself as well. We can start that mission. Let's go ahead and pick up the ammo. We're not going to worry about anything else. I'm probably not even going to use the blunderbuss all that much. But we'll pick up our usable gun ammo. 
Where's it at? Oh, right here. And we'll start this side mission. Sniper rifle. I don't even have one, do I? <laughs> no. That's kind of sucky, but eh. I'll eventually get one. It's in this tent. At least now I can say war follows John wherever he goes, so. What the heck was that? Okay, this is weird. A leading man if I ever saw one. Is this a filmmaker guy or what? You okay, mister? Oh, oh, Mr. Marston, well, I might have guessed you wouldn't have got the lurgy yet. Not yet. I'm trying to help my family. Yes, quite the hobby of yours, that. Sure. Listen, any idea what the hell's going on here? No, but it's brilliant. Man turned against man. Kind-hearted neighbors turned into savage, flesh-eating monsters. <laughs> Do you see it? It'll make a fantastic movie. Who would enjoy that? What? What kind of sick person would like that? My kind sir. The lowest common denominator. My people. You're gone, friend. On the contrary, sir. You misunderstand me. Come now, you're a smart fellow. Allow you to illuminate. <laughs> Listen, Mr. Marston. What I need is one of those nasty buggers that spits poisonous snot on you. If in your travels you can find a spare one, we can make moving picture history. You're worse than they are. Each to their own, Mr. Marston. But if you find the time... <sighs> okay, capture a wretcher from Gap Tooth Ridge and bring it back to McKenna. I don't know this guy, but it must be a... Uh one of the side missions in the main campaign that I did not do. So we're going to have to head up to Gaptooth Ridge. Or we'll start on the top side there. Gaptooth Ridge and catch Come a on. Wretcher. Kind of disappointing. I didn't want to be doing this. Capturing Come zombies. Kind of pointless in my opinion. I'd rather just farm them by <laughs> stomping over them with a zombie. Or the with the war horse. This is my go-to for clearing out settlements at this point. <laughs> I think I've gotten more kills from the horse than uh, my actual guns somehow. <laughs> we gotta catch a wretcher. That means lassoing a wretcher. I don't think I want to get close to a wretcher in the first place, but... As soon as we find one, I'll, I'll bring out my lasso, kill every other zombie. Let's go. go. Kill every other zombie and lasso the wretcher. I'm trying to keep my eyes peeled for one. Go. We're not in Gap Tooth, Gap Tooth Ridge yet, though. To yeah. be fair. Here we are, Gap Tooth Ridge. Look for a wretcher. Is there any other hordes? Oh, that is a spitter. Hog tie the wretcher. Oh, 
Oh, that's gonna be nasty. Oh, you wouldn't want to do this. Come here, horse. This did not take that long. I wonder if uh, regular horses would be uh, very disturbed by this. But this is a war horse. It's not horse. Stop leaving. Okay, so let's take him back to McKenna. I feel like he'd still be spitting. Because <laughs> we hogtize his arms and legs, but he doesn't really use those in the first place. Tumbleweed, is this a settlement? No, no, this is where the, uh, this graveyard was at. <laughs> Get some extra kills while I'm at it. I'm enjoying the action of this game. <laughs> it's, it's really weird. Just a weird time, but a good time. I'm just running over zombies non-stop with a freaking flaming horse. That's something that they thought up and added to a video game. I mean, it's on the same level as all these uh, Black Ops uh, zombies or Call of Duty zombies games where they got these freaking weird, super strong zombies. They're all weird, but they're all fun. I'm still thinking the... Uh, Whatever the theory, Aztecs or Incas, whatever. It's gonna be some artifact or something, something like that. Because that was the first theory Jack brought up in the first cutscene of Undead Nightmare. He was talking about uh, the Aztecs worship worshiping the sun god, and that on a full moon they worship the moon. It's gonna be something tied into this because Aztecs have been brought up twice now. They just have to be that. Where is McKenna? There we go. There's a Wretcher. What is he trying to do here, though? Make a movie with these two? Oh, Mr. Marston! I see art has got the better of you. Stupidity got the better of me, but I felt I should help an old friend. I appreciate that, sir. Are you ready to watch the creation of magic? If you say so. Wonderful! Let's put the star into his first scene. Right over here, you can put him down here. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. Movie making history, my friend. Uh, uh, there you go, my man. Now, there we are. I see you. You're going to be stars. Do something interesting now. Ah! And action! Zombies, go! Oh, you're failing to eat human flesh. That's honestly completely what I expected. That is completely what I expected. Okay. Oh, I forgot. This is contributing to the outfit, isn't it? Where is it? Undead Hunter. Because we're having to do these. Complete the survivor mission. Missing souls. Well, hold up. That's uh, right next to Fort Mercer, isn't it? Because the, the El Presidio one is going to be when we go to Mexico. So if we go ahead and get this one done. Let's go. That might be all, all of the ones we can do for the moment. We just gotta wait for uh, Nigel West Dickens to pop up. Cause he still hasn't popped up yet. He's, he said he's gonna be near Solomon's Folly, which I know where that is. Come on. Maybe we need to do this anyways for it to pop up. Yeah. Please don't be an escort mission. I mean, if you can hop on the back of my horse style escort mission, I can do that. But if it's a uh, go ahead and 
watch them slowly walk back, I'm good. Oh, we have to get inside the fort. Okay. Where's the ladder at? I think the horse is going to be fine no matter where. Wait, is it on the outside of it? Oh, there it is. Who's missing? <laughs> In a time of enormous crisis, I might have known the government have you boys doing the work of a common clerk. Well, thank you for your input, citizen. I'm glad you find the last so funny. <laughs> My pleasure. Do you think this poor girl's family finds life quite so funny right now? Family? I assumed she was a common killer. She's a missing person. Missing presumed dead, I guess. But you keep cracking them jokes. I'm sorry, mister. I guess I spoke a little out of turn. I ain't the one you should be apologizing to. Just find the girl. She's 15. Millicent Waterbury. You know what the sad part is? She looks exactly like the person that I have been passing by on the way to Armadillo. And I hope that's not the case. Ooh, I'm sorry about that if it is. We're just gonna drop off again, so. Take some fall damage. Get my horse to come this way. I think she is the person that's on the way to Armadillo. By the look of where the icon is. Can you stop Fast. walking away from me? My god. Where's that? Oh, she is... Oh, no. This is not the same person. Let's go! So hopefully we can put her back on, on the back of the flaming horse. I hope that's okay. Um, I don't see why not. Everybody's gonna assume you call me out for witchcraft. Come on. Yeah. I was about to say heresy. I've been playing too much, uh, re reading too much Warhammer lore. I was about to say they're gonna accuse me of heresy. Oh, Lord. Where's exactly is she at? Real quick. Oh, don't quit the game. She is up towards Pleasant's house. Never been there before. I kind of made a mistake. Yeah. Stuck on the side of the gap. Hopefully it leads back up. Because if not, I made a mistake. Oh, it seems like it's fine. Leads up here anyways. Hopefully she's not surrounded by zombies, because I've made the mistake a couple times now of ac accidentally shooting a survivor. No, I hope not. Oh, look at that. Dude, stop screaming. You're going to attract the zombies even more. Come after me. Go. Oh my god, thank you! That was awful! Are you Millicent? Yes! Come on! Your family's worried sick! Okay. I... God help us. Would it be strange if I said I feel like it should be more, more realistic at a random encounter? What were you doing out here by yourself? Climb on. Let's get you home. Oh my god, that freaking LeBron oh. James on the back of the horse. You see how freaking high she jumped? <laughs> Holy crap. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, caught me off What's guard a little name, bit. Mister? No, I keep on. Why is it auto go to that? I want to take her back to Fort Mercer. John, John Marston. I'm 
I've heard that somewhere before. You from around here? I spent some time down here, but I live in West Elizabeth. I have a small farm up there. My wife and son, they've got the infection. That's terrible. Do you think there's a cure? Oh, my I lord. Sure hope so. Otherwise, well, I don't want to think about the otherwise. I'm kind of glad I didn't That's go through here the first time. What on come earth? On. Come on, come on. This is. This is reminding me of my uh, Dead Rising playthrough there. <laughs> Or where you're underground in the uh, parking garage area or parking deck area. Oh, never in all my life. You know what I think that I don't I don't know if you can even hear it. I, the buzzing sound I think it's from the stamina. It's wanting to say that we're out of stamina. It was like they could smell me in there. No offense, miss, but they could. It's horrific. Are they alive or dead? Somewhere in between, I reckon. It's some kind of punishment for our sins, isn't it? It's a curse! My pa warned me, but I didn't listen. This is all my fault. What are you talking about? I, I kissed a man and we weren't even betrothed. What are you doing? <laughs> we have to keep moving. I don't think that's what caused it. I'm going to be honest here. Here we are. <laughs> I can't seem to get away from this place. Yeah, Fort Mercer. Bad times here. Thank you. Good luck helping your family, Mr. Marston. Thank you. <laughs> Plenty of more just like him, Mr. Comedian. We got a whole host of missing folk. Ooh, semi-auto pistol. Nice. I was just about to say, um... Don't try to guilt trip me. I'm already done my best to help people. And that is a Nigel West Dickens mission, isn't it? Solomon's Folly. American Imperialism. That is perfect. Okay, um... I think we're gonna call it for this part. We're already 47 minutes in, so... We're not gonna be able to do too many missions uh, in this part. Oh, it's a different type of ammo, isn't it? Dang it. Okay. It is different. Okay. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this part. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave any feedback down below. And I will see you guys next time. Take care.